Berkeley, is it good? Yeah. Hi everyone, welcome back to The Busy Vegan Mom. My name is Rachel and I'm here to offer guidance and direction to anyone looking to bring more plant-based foods into their diet. So today we're going to be making a, what has turned into a household favorite um, in my house, a dish called cauliflower, well, that we just named cauliflower casserole. It actually um, is more of a comforting vegan food. So just to put it out there, full disclosure, there are two different types of processed foods in this dish. Of course, they can be made without those, but like I said, it's more of a comfort food. Casserole dish, some yummy cheese on top, vegan cheese, of course. I will be sharing with you what brand it is that I use, but first I really wanted to share how I even came about this cauliflower casserole recipe. I wanted to find an app that would tell me dishes or meals, different things I could make based off of what I already had at home. So basically I was looking to avoid going to the grocery store and just taking the easy way out. I came across an app called Supercook and the cool thing about it is it was a free app and you can literally go in and put all the ingredients you have in your home and it breaks down everything by category of the food. And since I know how to veganize my dishes, I'm, I put in, I entered in um, into the app that I had milk, that I had cheese, because they didn't necessarily have a dairy-free milk, you know, option, and they didn't have dairy-free cheese, you know. So I'm like, let me just put what I have, um, the vegan version, and see what kind of recipes that it gives me. And so whenever this recipe was brought forth after the ingredients, after the ingredients were put in that I had in my home, uh, I was like, oh my gosh, I can totally do this. So it was not a vegan recipe. It did call for butter. It called for milk and it called for cheese. And so I improvised, of course, I used vegan butter, vegan cheese and plant milk. At the time, I don't know what type of, the first time I made it, what type of milk that was. I Oat milk is the favorite milk of choice in our, or dairy-free milk in our home. And at the time, that's probably what I used. I just don't remember because it's been over a year ago, but it's been made several times since then. So yeah, you can easily veganize anything, um, any recipe really, but those are the really simple swaps, you know, like the dairy-free cheese, the dairy-free butter. So if you already have these things on hand, it makes it really easy. And so something that was done uh, that I changed with the recipe was instead of using two, I think at the time I only had one head of cauliflower. And so I'm like, okay, how can I fill out this dish? What can I use so that it still has, you know, the same amount of ingredients in it, but just in a different form, if that makes sense. And so I used potatoes because there was potatoes on hand. So cut up some potatoes, kind of eyeballed it probably to what would be the same amount, the same like cup amount as the cauliflower. Um, and yeah, it worked out. And so it tasted so good that way that that's how this dish has been made ever since the first time in my home, potatoes and with cauliflower. So yeah, it's supposed to be just like strictly cauliflower, uh, but more of a filling dish uh, is definitely with some potatoes helps keep you full. And in this version um, that I'm going to show you here in a minute, you'll see that uh, we did add some plant-based protein to it. And um, that helped, of course, to make it a little more filling as well. Of course, it does not have to be. You can do this recipe however you want. I'm just sharing with you how I did it that day. Nonetheless, um, again, this is a comfort, more of a vegan comfort food. And I'm going to share with you exactly what it looks like uh, when I make it. Now, there's a quick way to do it, and there is a more healthy, uh, and there's a more cost-efficient way. I don't wanna say too much, I just wanna say this casserole is amazing. It is packed full of vitamin C, because believe it or not, cauliflower does contain vitamin C. Who would've known? I literally learned that like last year, because you wouldn't think cauliflower had vitamin C in it, right? We just think of oranges, lemons, uh, bright fruit, stuff like that. But no, cauliflower does have vitamin C, which is great obviously great for immune health. Um, any all year round vitamin C 
is good. So that, and then, you know, you've got your potatoes. If you've seen my previous video, you've heard my whole spiel on potatoes and on seasonal vegetables. But if you're just looking for a fun family dish that you can make at home, I do like to call this a weekend meal only because weeknights, I am not trying to spend really any amount of time in the kitchen. I'm all about the quick, the fast, the easy. And so this does take 25 minutes to cook, but if you are going to chop everything up, chop up all the vegetables, put in all that hard work, um, if you're not, if you're gonna do the less expensive way and buy the stuff whole and chop it up, um, you're gonna be spending a little more time in the kitchen. So like I said, there is the fast way, um, there is the more expensive way, which is convenience. And then there's a healthier way where you buy things, of course, in its whole form, which some of those two, some of those ways may be the same. So if that made any sense. Are you tired of seeing me chop up all this cauliflower yet? So this is what I was talking about. There is a quick way, um, and the quick way would be going to the grocery store and finding the cauliflower that's already all chopped up. They have it at my local grocery store where it's like literally like crumbles. Now that is more expensive. You're paying like probably three times the amount, maybe two or three times the amount that you would for just a head of cauliflower, but like look, I'm making a mess. It's going everywhere. So there's cleanup involved here big time. And like, it's just, it's such a timely process. So when you are not wanting to go through all this and get the cauliflower everywhere and spend all this time cutting it up, um, then yeah, buy the cauliflower that's already all crumbled up or maybe frozen cauliflower. And, um, yeah, then you don't have to go through all that. <laughs> so that is the quicker way. Um, but you do pay for convenience, right? And here's the potatoes that I had mentioned earlier that I swapped out for the second head of cauliflower. Like, like, like I said, that's how I did it originally because I didn't have but one head of cauliflower. And I normally do just kind of eyeball it for the potatoes. Um, just cut up maybe four or five. Depends on how big they are. Uh, but yeah, whatever the same amount is, whatever amount will fill up that cup of cauliflower and equal the same amount so yeah also i've tried canned potatoes in the past which saved me all the time from chopping up all the potatoes um, it is hard to find a organic potato in a can i do prefer potatoes organic uh, and you know they tend to have higher sodium in them if you're going to be getting them in a can but i mean it is quicker and it still tastes just as awesome and of course, chopping up the onion, making my eyes water something crazy here. But the onion's actually used for the cheesy sauce that we make that goes on top of the casserole. You'll see here in a minute. So we're just going to start boiling some water. And that's going to be so we can add the cauliflower and the potatoes. They just boil in the same pot. They boil for about 20 minutes or so until they're nice and tender. And here is everything once it's been laid out in our dish. It does suggest in the recipe to butter down the dish first. Um, of course, I use vegan butter. And this is everything that I put in the pan, which is the garlic. the vegan. I've got some vegan butter in there as well. And I normally don't use all this vegan butter, but it does call for it in the recipe. And like I said, this is a comfort food. Got my chopped up onion in my flour because, again, this is making our cheesy sauce our plant milk. And this is my favorite vegan cheese I was describing earlier. It's by a brand called Follow Your Heart. They are a more sustainable brand and they do have more wholesome ingredients and they are soy free, which is nice. Here's the plant-based protein I was saying we added. It's actually a, actually a plant-based chicken. Like I said, there's a couple of processed items in this one. And again, I'm emphasizing that it's a vegan comfort food. Look at that cheese sauce. Doesn't that look so good? This is right before it's going into bake. And added some more vegan cheese on top. 
And my other, my pre, my oven will have been already preheating at this point. And here's the cauliflower casserole. Once it's done, doesn't that look good? Once again, another kid approved dish. Berkeley thoroughly enjoyed it. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Let me know in the comments below if cauliflower is your thing. Maybe you don't even really care for cauliflower. Let me th know that as well, and we can focus on something different to make in the weeks to come. If you do like cauliflower, make sure you check out my short cauliflower alf alfredo video. It's like the most tastiest thing ever, and you won't be sorry if you give it a try. Again, Thanks to everyone for tuning in. Please let me know your video suggestions and I look forward to seeing you next week. Until then, cheers.